So, you want to bag your Honda Jazz GE. Hello and welcome to a new video here at Fitment TV guys and welcome back to our Lipa shop. As you can see, this is not our usual, uh, well this is used to be the usual setting but this is our Lipa shop where we are actually, where we started it all. Okay, and today we are greeted with the Honda Jazz GE. This will mark our completion ng Honda Jazz lineup. We have done a GD, picture here, the GE, and of course we've done multiple GKs. So there's three generations of the Jazz, GD, GE, GK, and then it got discontinued, sadly. Last na ang GK. So nevertheless, uh, this is one of the most iconic Jazz na lumabas. The GK is a bit modern, punggok. Uh, it looks small. For the GE model, lumabas to. And this actually looks a bit, you know, para sa akin, unpopular opinion. The second generation GE looks better on sa lahat ng mga Jazz generations. Okay. So, but, before we discuss the air suspension, i-feature muna natin yung mga mods ni Boss J from Kalamba. I think yung apala sa pagtiwala sa fitment. All right. So this guy is mahal na mahal na tong jazz na to. All right. And you can see from the car itself. Let's start with original CE28. Okay. Na race with endless big brake kit. Okay. Is a segue ko lang to to keep this, this to keep this video interesting. Para naman at least hindi lang tayo puro educational shit. Okay. So the wheels are very good. This is not a hybrid model. Ginawa lang yung hybrid theme. Okay? So, ano bang mga meron ng hybrid models? The hybrid models has a panoramic roof. Hindi yan nakarap. You can actually see inside the car. It's actually a real roof with a motorized uh, sunshade. So, what else? Of course, uh, original na Recaro seats. Brand new. So, this is our actually original. Kasi if you actually press on the bolster, it's actually really soft. So, Origen. Yan yung mga SR7, kung na mistaken. So, sa mga purist, alam niyo yung presyo. So, isa pa na gustong gusto ko sa Jazz GE na to. The Honda Access side skirt. Bubuksan ko ang park light. Ah, wait lang. <laughs> so, back in the day, in 2012 or 2015 onward, this blew my mind. Okay? Those side skirts light up. It's a small thing, pero pag nakaganyan ka back in the day, that's very good. That's very mind blowing. What else? Naka endless sa din. We have clear tail lights here. So, pakita lang natin yung hard labor naman ni boss. So, naka hybrid hybrid setup siya lahat. And this is a form and function build. So, as you can see, hindi niya tinipid yung kotse from the exterior to the interior. Everything is well done. I actually love a really good built Honda. Actually, the head unit actually also the IMA Integrated Motor Assist Dashboard ng Hybrid. Okay? And he has original the 5 gauges. I'm not sure if ito ay galing sa Jazz na tong blue colored na interior but it also had the hybrid step seals. Basically, hybrid theme talaga siya. So, it's one of those really well built na on the Jazz here in the Philippines na nakita ko. Alright, so hope you appreciate that konting feature lang ng kotse bago natin i-discuss yung air suspension ng unit. Of course, naka-air sus na to. We left it on the high setting muna. If you want to know, if you want to see, okay, it's slammed height. Please keep watching the video. But before anything else, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Like and share the video. Okay, hit the bell icon for the notification. So, at this part of the video, sa mga common na ditong nanonood, as sa mga OG na nanonood dito, this will be the part where we discuss the front, the rear, and the system layout ng air suspension natin. Of course, this is an air suspension video, so we will discuss the air suspension. So, lend me your ears as we dive into the okay, technical details ng video na ito. I'll see you there. Alright, hello and welcome to the front suspension of the Jazz GE. Okay, ito yung same generation ng Honda City GM. So, basically, ito kasi yung quick and short summary sa mga Honda cars. Lahat halos ng mga under chassis ng mga subcompact cars nila ay pare-parehas. Meaning, this shares the same suspension type to the CTGM. Actually, 
up to the latest model GM6, if I'm not mistaken. So, pare-parehas na sila ng pangilalim. So, halos lahat ng mga Honda ay McPherson type strut with a rubber mounting sa taas. So, halos walang pagbabago yung mga design nila at yung mga catalog video natin. We're just making this video for the sake of the fact na makatalog natin ng lahat ng kotse na pwede natin makatalog. Which is, for this one, starting off, ayun nga, sabi ko, this is a McPherson type strut. A McPherson type strut will actually rotate like that on its axis. So that, pagkabing mo na steering wheel, you have to be worried about the hose lines. That's why the placement of the hose lines is key when you have a McPherson type strut, which is the most popular type of front suspension design in the market. So for the bags, we used a what we, what we call the semi-slims na bag, which is actually mounted on the case port coilovers. This is actually a case port coilover. Tinanggal lang namin yung lock rings na orange, so you don't see the orange anymore. Alright? So, yeah. Shout out din nga pala sa big break kit ni Boss. He's sporting an endless BBK for his Jazz GE. Alright. So this is the second generation of the Jazz. Ang unang Jazz ay GD. Alright, the Jazz GD and the Jazz GE does share a same front suspension design as well. Also to the GK model. So, halos pare-parehas sila. Our first video, fun fact, here in the Fitment TV ng So You Want To Bag Your Car is actually a GK Jazz. Alright, that's all we have to discuss. Clearance is very maluwag. Okay? Hose line should be here. Okay? Follow the brake lines as usual. And then, of course, everything is a standard. Okay, let's move on to the back side of the car where we discuss another similar suspension type na, or familiar suspension type sa mga Honda cars. Alright, hello and welcome to the rear suspension ng ating Jazz GE or the second generation of the Jazz. As you can see, another familiar suspension type. This is actually a torsion beam layout na same ng suspension ng Honda City ko dati, na GM. Same din ng Honda City GM6. And almost same na rin siya ng GD. Pero ang alam ko, magkaiba ang GD sa GE. So don't quote me on that. That's from my experience. Once again, we have a coilover dito. This is a case port coilovers. 36, 36 adjustable damping clicks. Okay, and our airbag or air spring or the spring of the car is divorced from the springs. For the, the springs. From the shocks itself. So this is what we call a divorced layout. Shocks, springs. Shocks, springs. Coilover, air springs. Same thing. Shout out ulit sa endless big, big brake kit na kinuha niya. May kasama siyang rotor sa likod and pads. And then, that is our airbag right there. We actually use this proprietary airbag na pinagawa namin sa supplier namin to be used for subcompact cars. Other manufacturers or other builders are actually using really big bags sa likod. And what will happen is, they have to hammer down the subframe, the spring catches, kailangan nilang initan, so, this is a more non-invasive way to do it. So, checking the clearance lang. Malawag siya. And that's all you need to do for an air suspension build to last. You need to avoid all of those clearances concerns na nakikita natin sa harap natin. Yan. And kitang-kita man naman, we have a lot of space using this bag. And this bag is powerful enough and comfortable enough to drive the car or load up the car for daily use. Okay, yun lang naman. There's nothing much to discuss the rear. As I've said, this is very similar to multiple cars. Okay? And Honda has stayed true sa gantong design because it's shared platform for every car nila. From down to the Mobilio, the Brio, and every other car, HRV, etc. So, yeah, let's move on to the back side, the layout of the car where we have the system. Alright. Hello and welcome to the Jazz GE system layout. And as usual, this layout is no different from the others. The Honda Jazz is a hatchback. Seen by that, the driver's right there, the passenger's right there, and the second row is right there. If we expose the layout uh, outside, it will be very noisy for the cabin. So to remedy that, of course, we can muffle the noise using insulator pads for the compressors and putting it underneath. Para there's a, you know, audible separation for the audible noise, okay? So, here we are with our Fitment Engineering Airlift System. 
So this is what we call the feel system right now. The feels, the feels module right now. So this is the fourth generation fitment natin. Okay? And we have a three gallon tank and a compressor with the purge system. Okay, the first system is a fitment only feature. I'm surprised now other shops are actually trying the purge feature. But you will know once you know what it is for. So my own, uh, just a clean layout, nothing much. They can still put stuff here on the bottom part, cleaning materials, tools, man. If the owner wants to travel, the spare tire can be placed above the system so that we can actually secure the system from where it is. And it's easier to relocate the spare tire than the management system itself. All right, that's all there is to it. There's nothing much to discuss. Okay, you can lower that, puppy. Let's show them. Okay. So this is a basket layout for the hybrid jazz in Japan, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, let's move on to the final thoughts about this car, the Jazz GE. All right. Hello and welcome to the outro of the video. So start muna natin yung kotse. Nalimutan daw i-feature ni Dandre itong part na to. This is the IMA gauge cluster. Okay, let's get that copyrighted music out. Start natin yung kotse. It's actually a manual, okay? So the gauges, blue rin, original Defy gauges. I don't know if it's Defy, but some people call it Defy gauges. So, meron din siyang headlight leveler. I mean, dude, it's the small things. Okay, of course, we have Honda Asimo. Okay? So, lahat. Uring. Gaganda kaya to? Let's see if it will work. Wait lang. Oh, di ba? <laughs> see? So, something interesting. Hindi niya kinat yung roof niya. Hindi niya pinutol yung roof niya. Okay? He actually cut the whole pillar. So, di ba usually, pag maglalagay ka ng ganito, they have to cut the roof. Tama? Dito, Brad, they cut it here. You can see, and dito yung cut, oh. Kita mo itong madilaw-dilaw na pinturang to. They cut the roof pillar. So, itong buong bubong na to, galing sa Japan pa. So, konting dagdag lang. So, let's discuss the air suspension. Come on, let's go. Alright. Okay, so, lumalabas yung pagka Honda boy ko. I do love my Honda. So, let's discuss muna the dynamics of the car. The car is lifted right now, and gusto ni Boss kasi sumagad. So, pinalta natin ng goma. He went for a 45 series sa 16 na goma. This is not a 17 inch, it's a 16 inch wheel. Ito lang yung maximum travel niya sa front, okay? Around three and a half, maluwag na three. So, with a low drop, tandaan nyo, if you ask for a low drop, you have to sacrifice the lift, okay? You can't have a big lift and a low drop sa mga gantong, sa mga gantong kotse. Some cars pwede, some cars hindi. So for this car, three fingers lang yung air up niya. Alright? For the rear, uh, roughly around four fingers. Okay? So, let's drop the car and discuss natin yung drop ng kotse. Of course, we want to see that. Okay. So, I will address everything in a while. So, ito muna yung air out ng kotse. So, for the air out of the car, before we see the wheel gaps, okay, look how low the car is from the floor. Okay? So, masabit na yung kanyang downpipe at tambucho niya sa likod, okay, on the floor. So, that's why we can't go any lower than this. Okay? Sobrang baba na. Alright. So, let's discuss the front. Sa harapan, okay, on the front side, as you can see, we have amount of two fingers gap. So, sagad na to for now, we can go lower. We can go 10 millimeters lower. Tandaan nyo, yung sinabi ko kanina, if you ask for more drop, you sacrifice more lift. So, sabi ko sa client, roll with this muna. And from there, tingnan natin kung gusto mo pang dumiin. Alright? So, remember, hindi to, hindi to 17 inch. Kung 17 inch to, fender to lift na to. Do you agree? Right? So, 16 inch, almost fender to lip. Pag nag 17 siya, lalapat na yan. So, sa likod naman, ganun din. Of course, sa likod, mas mababa ang fender wheel sa likod. It's actually a finger na lang. So, pag nag 17 inch ka dito, fender to lip na yan. So, take it with a grain of salt. 16 inch yung wheel niya. And if he wants to go lower pa, it can for this, for this wheel. Pero pag gusto mo lang ang fitment ang habol mo, 
17 inch will fix the problem. But, para sa akin, keep it as is. It looks good. So, alright. Alright. So, conclusions. Tapos na. The video is almost done. Salamat nga pala sa pagpapanood. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Hit the bell icon for the notification if you want this type of content. We do it in a weekly basis, kahit pa paano. Alright? So, the Honda Jazz GE. A wonderful, wonderful platform for... Basta, if you like Honda, for sure, alam mo to. The Jazz GE proves itself to be a great stance car, daily car, utility. Basically, the Jazz is made for the market back in the day to be a utilitarian car, all-around car. You can put a surfboard on the back, inside, and you can use it for daily use. You can put your cargo on it, but still maintaining good mileage ng gasolina, spacious enough inside. So, overall, great car, great build by the owner. Dinagdagan pa niya ng fitment air suspension, which is lalo pang gumanda yung kotse. Thank you for the tiwala, for the trust. For now, that's going to be it. There's nothing much to discuss about the Honda Jazz. Meron pa ba tayong sabihin? Wala na. So, you want to bag your Jazz GE? This is how. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Kyle from Fitment Engineering. And you're watching Fitment TV. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Maraming maraming salamat. And there are more cars for us to complete our catalog. Until then, adios.